the thing I guess with with conspiracy is it's some of it's true. Like the the biggest conspiracy I think probably of our lifetime was pedophilia in the Catholic Church. Yeah. Was like that was I remember that being talked about when I was a kid. Well, and how thinking about in the UK? my mother was crazy. Jimmy Savile. Just how hiding in plain sight. Crazy is that. And it's that really guy crazy. looks like a pedophile. Yeah. I mean, he looked like such well, a is, fucking creep. Here's the story I heard on Jimmy Savile, which is interesting. He had a big show on TV called Jim Will Fix It, yeah. which was him making dreams come true for kids or whatever. You know, They'd write in with a wish yeah. and he'd make them come through. But he had that nickname before. So he was kind of a fixer. You know, he invented the, the, the turntable, the, the two... Two record players together, the, that turntable. Oh, like for a DJ? Like for mixing? a DJ, he invented the, the dual really? turntable. Yeah. So I mean. Not all bad. I, pretty much all bad. 99.9% bad. 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 Real bad. <laughs> yeah. What was but my joke about invention. him? He was the, uh, it's a very British joke, but Jimmy Savile, the only man in human history to have fucked more miners than Thatcher. Oh. That requires quite a lot of information <laughs> about mining, about mining yeah. Margaret Thatcher, what she yeah. did to the miners, and also, ah, it's a long way to go. It's a good joke, though. Yeah, but the, uh, yeah, no, he was hiding in plain sight and was part of the establishment. Yeah. Uh, but I think that thing of like going, the story I, t uh, I was told was he was kind of connected very high up because of what he did in terms of fixing things. Mm. Like, so the guy that, are you familiar with the Perfumo affair? No. So it was the idea that the, the minister uh, for, I think, the, the Ministry of Defense was having, a, he, was, he was having an affair with a lady who was also, Christine Keeler, who was also having an affair with a Russian agent. Oh. And she had been procured by this other guy who then got um, assassinated. Mm. Uh, or they think got assassinated. And so I think uh, the story I heard was Jimmy Savile had a similar role for procuring certain things for certain people interesting so i wonder what he was doing for the police or for the secret service that gave him what gave him right that that ability that to just, immunity total immunity. well that's what's the really scary idea is that there's a ring of people that are pedophiles that's what terrifies people that there's a ring of powerful people that that's the you know if you want to go full q and on tinfoil hat that's but i think that is like it, you know, i mean the, I presume Jimmy Savile was acting alone. I mean, I presume that's. But, but why? But why? Why? Why do you presume why he was acting up? alone? I don't know. I mean, what if other people were also involved? What if other people were also doing the same thing? Oh, it's a terrifying. Thought, I mean, there's a, there's a the, there's a similar case in America with uh, Sandusky, you know, who uh, Jerry Sandusky. He was yeah. the uh, oh. the coach that did a lot of things with kids and work with kids and everybody had this image that he was this great guy yeah. when it turns out the entire time he had been molesting kids. It's pretty horrific, isn't it? Yeah, it's horrific, but that's often the role they play. The role they play as Well, they have to get themselves predator. into a permission yes. where they're close to... Yes, yes, yeah. which is like Boy Scout masters and priests. Which you is, know? you know, it's a terrible thing because you know, something like the Scouts, which is very good for kids, mm -hmm. go and play together and learn those things and those skills. It's a great organization, and yet that's absolutely fucking ruined it. That's the first thing you think of now yes. when you think of the Scouts. Well, the Catholic you know. Church is the greatest example of that, right? I mean, you cannot say Catholic priest without someone thinking pedophile. There's no yeah. other occupation on earth that has such a connection to pedophilia. Yeah. And so weird. someone was t talking to me about the, the history of the Catholic Church and what happened and the idea of the thing that turned the Catholic Church bad was the plague. Really? So the plague hit in the Middle Ages. And before then, the priest was the smartest guy you'd ever met. The smartest guy in the town became could, a could read this Latin. guy could, could read. This yeah. guy can read. Right. There's just shapes on a page to us. Mm -hmm. But like had access to books, was reading, was, was the most erudite, brilliant guy. The bishop was even smarter than that. The pope was a genius. Great. So the plague happens. And the plague wipes out. I think it's a third of the European population, but it might have been more than that. And it wiped out a third of regular people, but it wiped out 90% of priests because priests had to give last rites. Oh. So they were around the plague more than regular people. I need mm. the last rites. I'm dying. Okay. Then he dies. Right. So the barrier to entry for getting into the priesthood went from you've got to be great to ah, you seem to have all your own teeth and you can string a sentence together. You'll be great. So all of that stuff that comes after downstream of that, like the you know, plenary indulgences, this thing where you could buy your way into heaven in the Middle mm -hmm. Ages, 
you could sort of pay someone to go, yeah, you can yeah. make sure I'm okay when I get there, though. That kind of nonsense came along afterwards when the when the it had all kind of come corruption. Down. Yeah. yeah, the mm. corruption and the interesting. Yeah, I had heard that it was connected to celibacy, and that initially there was no celibacy clause. They weren't. No, they weren't that was that came in the Middle Ages. So it was that thing of they wanted to be more like Christ. So they they and who was celibate, and so they went. Well, I'm going to be. You know, one priest said, "Well, I'm going to be more like him. Live like Christ. I'm going to be celibate, not have a wife." And then that kind of took off as an idea. That's interesting because what I had heard it didn't was happen that in the Anglican they church. were banging all the women because the really? priests were rock stars. I mean, if you if you have a community where the priest is literally connected to God and he's a biological male and he's horny and these women worship them and, and, it's, and came also, to them for it's, it's the original show business. Yes, I mean, if we were yes. if we were doing if we were who we are in the 13th century, 100 percent priests or sorry, I keep. I can get up in front of these people and talk to them for an hour a week. Right. Done. Right. Yes. Put me down for one of those. Right. And they'd seek guidance from you. You'd get all these accolades. And apparently they were allowed to have sex with women and they were fucking everybody. Yeah. Just well, like rock stars well, because the, they were probably the most popular people in the town. The other thing that ties – that's very interesting. The other thing that ties it to um, – like there's, there's often been – and it's a very unpleasant thing. But there's often been a conflation between homosexuality and pedophilia, which is – so it's just fucking nonsense. They're right, very, it's nonsense. It's nonsense, but it it keeps on kind of rearing its head in a weird way. But there is something with the Catholic Church where it's hard to remember how vilified gay guys were a generation ago, mm -hmm. let alone two generations ago. Yeah, so, but, well, very recently in I the mean, 90s. In, it, it's, it's crazy, but yeah. it's true. So there's a weird thing where, okay, so let's say you're a gay guy in, I don't know, 1890 you knew you were gay when you were 14 or whatever like everyone else is getting married and going off and you go I'm right. a gay guy the priesthood was a smart move because you want well I don't have to get married and I know I'm not about that so I'll join the priesthood mm. so you join the priesthood you were a gay guy there were other gay guys that had the idea great right now here's the weird thing pedophilia was the same level sin in the eyes of the church uh. at that level so one covered for the other. It was all, you were all damned and going to hell. Mm -hmm. It was all terrible, which is obviously some fucking nonsense. But yeah. Yeah.